Chapter 9, What Parents Can Do to Prevent Obesity. Who wants to deny their children food? The problem, however, if left to their own devices, many children would eat cupcakes for dinner and popcorn for dessert rather than a well-balanced, nutritious meal. Perhaps one of the greatest hardships a parent has to go through during their child's adolescence is having to persistently say no. It's a little wonder that no is usually the first word repeated next to mama or dada in Junior's new but growing vocabulary. But as children and parents grow older and arguments ensue, which unfortunately takes its toll on both child and parent, parents sometimes give in to the pressure. Before that scenario becomes reality, however, providing smart nutrition and being involved in how much physical activity kids get is up to the parents. If not, any child is at risk to become part of the growing obesity numbers in the under 20 population and just another statistic. And those kids who are prone to weight gain may spiral out of control if not for the discipline displayed by the parents. It's all too common that after a while of giving in, the chubby cute kid can quickly turn into a fat one on the precipice of obesity, which is a harsh reality for parents as well as their children. Knowledge is key. The first thing parents need to do is to educate themselves on what it means to live a healthy lifestyle in terms of weight management and fitness. It is crucial to understand healthy diet, proper nutrition, how much from each food group a child should eat, portion control and calorie requirements for each age group and sex of the child, and importance and application of regular physical activity for kids. This kind of knowledge is absolutely necessary in order to instill healthy habits in kids that will prevent obesity and stick with them into adulthood to facilitate lifelong healthy lifestyles. Teach by example. Children are impressionable. As parents, you see in your children their adoration for a superhero or the latest Pop-Tart who churns out silly pop tunes for their admiring young fans. What you didn't see coming, however, is your 10, 11, or 12-year-old being the butt of jokes and ridicule because of obesity. You may ask yourself, how did that happen? That is usually the time when you have to take a long, hard look at your lifestyle. Were you, as a parent, doing all you could do to help your impressionable prepubescent teen navigate the waters? It's not a secret. Children look up to their mother and father, which is a big responsibility for any parent. But as big as that responsibility is, it's the parent's obligation to do all they can to set the right example. Unfortunately, many adults who have children do not realize that their habits, both good and bad, impact their child's early years, which is why it is imperative as a parent to be the model of decorum. If your child sits down with a bowl of ice cream every night, because that's what dad does, perhaps the time has come for dad to grab an apple or a pear instead, which will hopefully encourage the impressionable child to do the same. Exercise is another area where parents can teach by example. If weekends are spent lying on the couch in front of the television, it's likely that is the same thing the kids will be doing. But if each weekend the parents are out at the park, playing tennis, walking on the beach, or playing basketball at the driveway net, then that is where the kids will be as well. Provide a healthy diet from the start. It makes sense to begin introducing vitamin and protein-rich foods into your child's diet early, but like anything else, in moderation. An infant does not yet have the inherent tools to say enough and will continue to eat if the parents let him or her. It is therefore good parenting to start introducing into your youngster's diet fruits, vegetables, and lean cuts of meat that will provide all the nutrients needed for a healthy, well-balanced diet. Again, moderation is also a factor. Just because your three-year-old loves bacon doesn't mean you should let the child eat an entire pound. The food groups grains, fruits, low or non-fat dairy, vegetables, lean protein. The portions and daily servings depend on the age and sex of the child. Sugar, fat, and salt. Sugar, fat, and salt should be consumed in moderation. The American Heart Association recommends that kids older than two should get about 30% of their daily calories from fat. Of that, only 7% to 10% should come from saturated fats. Trans fats should be avoided altogether. They also recommend that kids consume no more than 12 grams or 3 teaspoons of sugar per day. 
recommended salt intake for kids, 1,500 milligrams per day for kids one to three years old, 1,900 milligrams per day for kids four to eight years old, 2,200 milligrams per day for kids nine to 13 years old. The not so happy, happy meal. A McDonald's cheeseburger Happy Meal has 670 calories, 46 grams of fat, 7.5 grams of saturated fat, 28 grams of sugar, and 840 milligrams of sodium. That is a lot of calories, fat, sugar, and sodium from just one meal. Especially when you consider the fact that for kids age 4 to 8, the recommended daily calorie intake is between 1,200 to 2,000 calories max, sodium a max of 1,900, a sugar max of 12 grams, and saturated fat should be less than 1% of daily calories. And most of the foods included in the Happy Meal have little or no nutritional value. Should you ever buy Happy Meals for your kids? Maybe. That is a decision parents need to make. There are many super active kids who can easily handle the occasional treat of the Happy Meal. The decision really depends on goals beyond that of preventing obesity, such as heart healthy eating habits they will take with them into adulthood. Should Happy Meals be nightly dinner? Probably not. Healthier options for Happy Meals. Order apple slices instead of fries with the meal. Swap the Coke for water or skim milk. Healthy cooking. Healthy cooking, such as steamed vegetables and fruit smoothies, are a great way to introduce to your children heart-healthy foods at an early age. If broccoli or cauliflower is met with disdain, try pouring a little cheese sauce onto the vegetables. If you, as a parent, start when your children are young and give them lots of fruit and vegetables, as they get older they will naturally gravitate towards those foods. Engaging kids by allowing them to assist in cooking and meal preparation as appropriate for their age will greatly increase the chances of their interest in any type of food they help prepare. They can be asked to help with all types of cooking and baking. Kids love to help and it will teach them how to cook healthy and will make them proud and filled with a sense of accomplishment. Provide healthy snacks. What's inside your cupboards and refrigerator says a lot about your diet. Keeping healthy food in the home is the first and maybe most important step in dictating what your child will eat. This may be easier said than done, but it is just a fact of raising healthy and fit kids. It's not difficult, but it does take a conscious effort to keep wholesome snacks in the refrigerator, so the first thing your child reaches for are the celery sticks with peanut butter or the chopped carrot sticks. It's up to parents to introduce, early in a child's life, the world of fruits and vegetables as wholesome snacking. Even baked goods such as oatmeal raisin cookies can be made without processed sugar. Simply cut back on the sugar or use a sugar substitute like applesauce. Add shredded carrot or zucchini into the mix. Be creative. If your child naturally reaches for a handful of Oreos after school, he or she is probably craving fat. Fat, however, is loaded with vitamin E, certainly an essential vitamin, so instead of Oreo cookies, introduce early in life foods that are naturally rich in vitamin E, such as avocado or nuts. Get creative and turn the avocados into a delicious guacamole dip with baked pita chips for dipping, or keep Nutella on hand, a delicious hazelnut spread that can be put on whole grain breads, crackers, and waffles. There are many ways to replace unhealthy snacks. All it takes is a little imagination and an extra half hour in the kitchen before your child flies into the house and goes right for the cupboard or refrigerator looking for something to eat. Instead, have it ready or have it already made in the refrigerator. This makes it more likely that that is what they will eat. List of healthy snacks ideas. String cheese, fresh fruit, whole grain crackers, low fat frozen yogurt, sorbet, trail mixes with dried fruit and nuts, fresh fruit smoothies, all fruit popsicles, frozen bananas, homemade frozen berry pops, apples with almond or peanut butter, apple sauce, graham crackers, fig bars, vanilla wafers, fruit with caramel dip, kashi goline bars, granola, check labels to verify sugar content, baked chips, vegetable chips, soy crisps, 
rice cakes, unbuttered popcorn, pita chips, whole wheat pretzels.